The past couple of years definitely have been rough for me. I, I went through a divorce, I lost my mom. So I feel like I'm at the age where things fall apart so they can come back together. Lyric, you were awesome! So what's going on with you, girl? You know I'm doing a comedy thing. Oh my god, first of all, you have me cracking up every morning. Thank I you. I love your Bonnet Chronicles. Thank you. Like, you talk about the stuff <laughs> that nobody talks about, but everybody knows. So we're doing a show. Yay. And I want you to come and see what I, what I do. Oh my god, I would love to come support. I'm inviting some of the girls. Okay. Now, because I'm inviting them, I'm doing a couple jokes. OK. About some of them. Oh. I've been doing comedy for the past year, so I don't particularly get nervous about actually doing stand-up. But I have made some special jokes for the ladies who will be attending. And I don't know how they're going to feel about my comedy. Speaking of the girls, how is that going for you? Uh, you know, Shawnee and I are always good. Yeah. Now, I know you and Malaysia are friends. Me and Malaysia are cool, yes. You at a crossroads. Yeah, we're at a crossroads. <laughs> oh God, what happened? <laughs> it has to do with Brandy. Like it was a little name calling between the two really? of us. Yeah, it, it, it became a full. It got ugly. It got very ugly. I don't want them to be mad at each other because I feel like it's gonna put me in a bad position. Y'all don't need to have a real issue. Like just work it out. Evelyn and I had our little, you know, moments. So do you think she's changed? say that I think it's a different Evelyn. She has learned how to fine tune her anger and her pop off. I don't know if Evelyn has changed. What I do know is that we have decided to move past our differences and I think she can do the same with Jen. So she's not she's gonna advancing. throw a bottle? Yeah, she's not gonna throw a bottle. I think that girl's gone. Yeah. That's so. interesting. Evelyn and I have not spoken. It's been five years, I think, but we had some amazing times in Miami. Like, are we going out? I'm like, I guess. Yay! I need to find a man. How's that working out? It's working. Are you still in love with him? Don't cry, don't cry. Do you ever think of online dating? Let's get online and let's just see, like, the type of guys that are on there. <gasps> that is just disgusting. Imagine what your babies would no, look like. No, I'd rather die alone. Me and Chad have been talking on the phone. God. <laughs> but obviously my main concern is you. But then my friendship with Evelyn pretty much crumbled. No, you want no, to no, 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 Evelyn was evil back in the day. But the fact that Evelyn and I don't have a relationship, it actually makes me really sad because her and I had our own separate friendship before we even met any of these ladies. So I feel like we kind of just like grew up together. Her and I have all this history. I know. And it goes back for years, mm -hmm, I know. you know? like I just feel like my life has gone on, hers has gone on, like I'm in a different space, you know? It's just whatever. Because you guys have gotten past it, but that doesn't mean that there isn't some hurt or some lingering no, feelings. No, definitely. Or... I feel like her ass needs to apologize. 